Okay, question 13. Uh, unlucky for some, but should be a straight trigonometry question. Um, it asks us to work out the angle correct to one decimal place. So, let's start by labelling our triangle up. It's a trigonometry question, so we know that this A to B is the hypotenuse, A to C is the opposite of the angle, and next to or adjacent to the angle, this one here. So, well, we can tell from here, labelling these sides up, we can tell that A has got a piece of information, A has got a piece of information, and we want the angle, so the opposite's got no friends, we don't need it. So, for our phrase, so, cat, however you choose to remember the mnemonic, um, the one that's got the A and the H in, is the one that's got cosine. So we know that the C is equal to the A divided by H. Or, in our case, we know that the cosine of X is equal to the adjacent, which is 9.7 centimetres, all divided by 12.4 centimetres. Now we could do that on a calculator. Problem is we want x, not just cosine of x. So we have to do the un the inverse. So a bit like uh, plus and minus are inverses, multiply and divide inverses, uh, squared and square root are inverses, um, cosine of x or the function cosine and the function cosine minus 1, or sometimes arc cosine, are inverses. So to get x on its own, all I've got to do is do the inverse function cos minus 1, 9.7 divided by 0.4. Now I can do that in my calculator. Easiest way to do it is do the 9.7 divided by 12.4. Leave the answer on your screen and then just do shift cosine. So, sorry, I just tapped the button on my calculator. 9.7 divided by 12.4 equals shift cosine. And you find out that that gives you an answer of writing the whole answer out first 38.5322. Two two one zero eight five. We need to round it to one decimal place, so that means we do thirty-eight point. Check off we want to cut off here. So thirty-eight point five degrees, and then we and then we're finished. Sorry about that.